Hey, Daniel Lanier here. I'm at the project house. I know you guys got stuff to do and so do I. Today we're going to talk about drainage. Before I get my lawn situated and together, I'm going to work on some of these drainage issues I have. Not only for the lawn, but drainage, bad drainage is a perfect breeding ground for things like termites and ants around your house. So you want to get that water away from your house. To do that, I'm going to use the Stealth Flow system, which hooks onto my gutters. So this is Daniil Lanier. I'm at the project house working on drainage today. I know you guys got stuff to do i do too let's get into it talking about drainage all right so let's talk about the first thing i have here which is the stealth flow this is made by merrimax and what this does is it keeps water away from the foundation so i got one that's open up so you're gonna have this hooks on to your downspout so you're gonna hook this on to your downspout and then this part connects into this flat piece and then you lock it in and then that's going to move the water away the cool thing about this you can bury this with mulch and stuff so you can get it away and then kind of bury it and make it hidden so it can help with your landscape and keep your landscaping looking good so we're going to use this to kind of get the water away from the house all right so normally i could just dig this out flatten this and kind of slope the land you know build this up with some dirt slope it out so i can move the water off of this what this does is diffuse the water coming off so it doesn't have time to sink into your foundation so i could use this and raise this up but i want to really move that water away from my foundation so to do that what i'm going to have to do is i'm going to dig this out i'm going to take some dirt and i'm going to level this and kind of slope it so it's going away from the house so i'm going to build this up so it's going away from the house and then that's going to be my stealth flow we're going to take it out to here and then we're going to put the drain out over on this area that's this way so we can move that water away and then drain it down so the first thing to do is to dig this out Well, that was pretty simple. So now what we want to do, we don't want this to go down like that because that's going to pool right around the house. And I got a little bit of dirt over here, so we're going to be able to kind of build this whole area because we want to slope it this way. So we want this up, and then we can slope it this way. When you look at your downspout, you're either going to slide this in inside of it or you're going to have to make a cut and make an adjustment and slide it on top. Now, in my particular case, I have to make a cut and slide this on to my downspout. So I'm just going to take a knife and you can use the utility knife or some type of sharp object that you have. And all you got to do is just cut along this line. It has a line right here for you to follow. You just got to go along this line. It's not hard to cut at all. Just be careful. So just go along the line, cut it. So once I get this off, in my particular case, I'm just going to slide mine right on to my downspout and I'm going to be good to go. Now, remember, if you have the smaller gutters, you can just slide this on. You don't need to cut it all. But I have the larger one, so I'm going to slide mine on to my downspout because I have the larger, larger one. So if you have the smaller, just remember, you don't need to do this. So it just depends on what you have to how you're going to utilize this application. Grade going down. So I'm just going to bend that up just a little bit. So it proceeds this. Remember, I had to cut the top off of this one. If you have the smaller one, you can use it as is, but I had to cut it, put it on. Now, I'm just gonna take a flat piece, lock it on. And we can see that we're going down. Probably gonna put, let me just get a little more dirt up in here. Make sure that, yeah. Swoop that down just a little bit. There we go. All right. We want our water coming out. These are our high side. And then it's flowing downhill right to the drain so we can see water coming out 
dissipating right in here. Flowing right into the drain just like we want. So everything's doing exactly like we're supposed to do it. Get the nice little fill there. Stuff flow doing a good job. Moving the water away from the house. Drains working just like we want. Now sometimes it all comes together. It started to rain. Now I didn't get to finish my landscaping. So I have some rocks here just to keep everything from washing away and the dirt washing away. So I just put some rocks but still working on my termites so I couldn't put all my landscaping in. But as you can see everything is working as it should. The water's flowing right where I need it to go, going right into the drain. I don't have this crazy flooding like I had in this area before. The water's going away from the house. So the stuff flow is doing its job. The drain is doing its job. I'm very happy with the performance. All right, so there it is. Using the stealth flow to move that water away from the house, set up a drain. Again, getting the water away from the house and then pushing it into another area by dissipating it into the drain, into the yard. Great way to do this. Uh, it's an easy process as you guys can see. If you don't have to do the drain and you're just trying to move the water away from your house, even easier process. I mean, you're just attaching this spout to your downspout and then carrying it out. Just a really easy process there to do. And that's the Stealth Flow. Uh, I got that at Lowe's, really inexpensive. I think it was like maybe $11, if that. So check it out. This is Daniil Lanier. I know you guys got stuff to do, so do I. I got some more drains to install, so I'm gonna go take care of that. Stealth flow, drains in the house, get that water away from your, your foundation so those critters don't have a place to breed and grow and get in your house. Daniil Lanier, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, like the video, I got more reviews, DIY how-tos, and of course, cool motivation coming at you. I'm out, deuces.